Hey guys, it's Aislinn, and in today's video, we're gonna be testing out Eero Eero's new natural shades. They came out with four natural tones. They have copper, bronze, brown, and dark brown. I did a video similar to this with Manic Panic's Supernatural line. I'll leave a link to that video up here in case you didn't see it. They also came out with some natural tones, and I swatched all of those for you guys. So when I saw that Eero Eero came out with natural colors, I definitely wanted to swatch them and try them for you guys. So we're gonna be doing swatches on platinum blonde hair very similar to mine so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the second camera angle so you guys can see me swatching I have not looked at any of these colors yet I haven't opened them I haven't looked up at any pictures online so I literally have no idea what to expect so we're gonna do it together before we get into the video I just want to follow up with my last Eero Eero hair color video with the silver and platinum confusion as I told you in the pinned comment they did respond to me they said that they wanted to send me um, um, a new platinum and a new silver and I was like okay so I gave them my shipping information these are the new platinum and silver colors so I am gonna be swatching these just on a paper towel so you guys can see like an update on what they look like now I did open these to see what the packaging looked like by the way my cat is literally up my ass today come here my sweet baby say okay goodbye okay yep time to go I did just open up the lid to look um, at what the color looks like on the inside. I haven't swatched it or anything. I just looked at the color on the inside and these both look different than the other two shades I got in each color. So these look even different than the other ones. Hope that makes sense. Also the packaging has the regular screw off tops. They're not circular. I don't know if that matters. I also just wanna say all of the color I got today all of the brown shades, which are new, have the these type of caps on them. So I'm guessing this is the new and finalized packaging with the normal caps. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the platinum and silver on paper towel real quick, just so you guys can see what they look like. Here, we're gonna go in with the silver color and see what this looks like. So this looks actually really pretty. It's a super pretty purpley undertone to it. Again, looks pretty different than the other two in my opinion. All right, let's go in with the platinum color. Put this over here. And the platinum looks totally different than the other ones. So hopefully they figured it out. Um, I honestly have no idea. Again, these look totally different than the colors that I got. These are way better than both of the colors I got. So I actually prefer these two and like these much more than the other shades. I'm gonna go ahead and work the color in. These just look so much different than all the other colors we had. So now there are definitely three different color formulations floating out there on the shelves. These are definitely the prettiest options and the ones that I would want. And we'll go ahead and smooth out this color too so you guys can see the difference between them. Okay, so here are the differences. They actually aren't super, super different. They both have the same tonality. They have that like purpley silver underhue to them, which I absolutely love. I love both of these colors and I think they're beautiful. So I would definitely use these on my hair, but again, you just don't know what you're gonna get. But they are at least the same color family. One is just darker than the other and both of these colors are really pretty. So hopefully this is the finalized formulation because I actually really like both of these colors and I think that they would work really well on like a platinum hair color. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of the brown shades on paper towel too, just so you can see what they look like on a white canvas. And that way we can see what they look like. Cause again, I haven't looked yet. So we are going to start out with the shade 400 copper. So we'll just do a little line right here. Ooh, this feels thick as fuck, baby. Now we're gonna go in with 410 bronze. We're gonna go in with the shade 420 brown. Ooh, this is pretty. And we're gonna go in with the shade 430 dark brown. Ooh, yes, this is dark. Ooh, it's pretty though, looks like chocolate. I forgot to mention to you guys, we will be trying the Schwarzkopf color remover on the extensions today to see how easily this hair color removes because that's a huge, important deal when using a semi-permanent brown color like overtone you guys know that was hell for me to remove out of my hair so i want to make sure if you guys are using these colors that you're going to be able to get them out relatively easy at home there were a couple shades in the manic panic supernatural line that were a little bit more difficult to get out of the hair so we are going to test these today and make sure they come out of the hair easy and they don't stick like overtone does all right i'm going to fan out the copper shade looks really pretty Reminds me of like a rose gold color almost. 
It is very pretty though. I can't wait to see what these look like on blonde hair. Let's go ahead and move on to the bronze shade which out of all of these, I don't know, I, my eye kind of goes towards the bronze. I think it looks the prettiest. Okay, it doesn't look that much different than the copper. It just looks a little bit darker. All right, let's move on to the brown. These are definitely thick. This is pretty too. As you can see, they all definitely have warmer undertones. They're not a cool brown at all. They are definitely warmer, but they're really pretty. I love this brown one. This is really pretty. Okay, there's the brown. That's probably my favorite one so far. And let's try the dark brown. Ooh, yes, this is, ooh, I love this though. Ooh, this reminds me of the overtone brown that I used. It's very, very similar. And it's definitely not as warm as the other ones. Like this one is absolutely gorgeous. I hope it comes out of the hair easily because maybe I'll use these on my hair if it does come out of the hair easy. All right, let me get a little close up of these for you guys. Okay, so here are the colors. Oh my gosh, Mimi. Literally, get a life. Go work a nine to five. You can't be here. Bubba, I love you so much. You cannot be here, okay? Here are what the colors look like up close. I actually really like the brown on the end and I like the copper too. Those are my two favorite colors from these swatches, this last one and this first one. I think they're really pretty. I'm excited to try these on natural hair. All right, I've got my hair swatches on the desk here. Let's go ahead and start with the 400 copper. Just gonna put this on here. I'm gonna go in with the same copper brush. This looks a little bit different than a copper that I was thinking in my head. It's definitely still copper, but it just isn't as copper as I thought it would be, I guess. Just trying to work the color into the hair. Let's move on to the bronze color. I feel like this is gonna look a lot different on the hair than it did on the paper towel. Yeah, automatically I can definitely see it does look different on the hair. It looks better in my opinion. Still looks very similar to the copper shade, so I'm hoping when we rinse this bronze out, it looks different than the copper because right now they look pretty similar. All right, let's move on to the brown color. I really like the idea of there being a semi-permanent brown hair dye, um, especially for like people like me who are growing out their regrowth. But sometimes like me right now, I'm literally going through it. I want to dye all of my hair brown except for these front two pieces. But obviously I don't want to commit to that dark of a brown. I want it to be able to come out easily and I don't want the commitment of using a demi-permanent or a permanent brown color. So I would really love to find a semi-permanent brown hair dye line that works on the hair well, it looks natural and it also comes out fairly easy because in my experience, um, the natural colors I have tried um, don't come out of the hair very well. They tend to stain the hair and it's a pain in the ass when you want to try and get them out. So hopefully these work great and I can dye my hair with them. And going in with the last shade, dark brown. And this color, ooh, really catches my eye. I think it's so beautiful. In my experience, the darker brown colors are harder to remove than the copper colors are. So hopefully this one removes easy. This color really reminds me of the overtone brown. I'm going to give you guys a close up on my vlogging camera of these swatches so you can like really see what they look like up close and personal. Okay, so this one right here is the copper. This one is the bronze. This one is the brown and this one is the dark brown. So here's what the swatches look like while they're processing. I'm gonna let these swatches sit for 30 to 45 minutes, rinse them using cool water, and then I'm gonna blow dry them and straighten them and I will be back to show you the finished results. And then we can use the color remover and see if they come out of the hair easily. All right, we are back. I went ahead and rinsed out the swatches and I have my Schwarzkopf color remover mixed up. These swatches, shook me to the core. Let me tell you, they are not at all what I expected. Yeah, let me get the vlogging camera and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so here are the swatches rinsed. This is copper, this is bronze, this is brown, and this is dark brown. Here is the copper color. It definitely looks more like a rose gold to me than a copper, but that's what that looks like. It does match the packaging pretty well. This is the bronze shade right here. It does look very similar to the copper, but it is just a little bit lighter. 
I was not expecting this bronze color to look like this at all. I thought it would be like this color. So here is the brown shade, which is actually the only color out of all the swatches I did that I like and I would like possibly use on myself. To me, this looks a little bit more copper than a brown. And if it is a brown, it's like a light brown. And then here's the dark brown. And I honestly have no idea what happened here. Can you guys see like the dark patches and the light patches? It could have been that I just didn't saturate it very well. Like this light patch, I feel like maybe I just didn't saturate it very well. But I don't know why it grabbed dark in some areas. Like on the ends right here, it's like super, super dark. And it's just very patchy all over. Again, don't know if that was me or not. And I don't know which one of these is the true color. But even if I did apply it patchy, I rinsed it out the same. So I don't know what's going on here. This looks like someone had black box dye and then they're trying to remove it and it's like very, very patchy. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the Schwarzkopf color remover to half of these strands to see if this color comes out easily. Now I'm hopeful. I feel like it is gonna come out easily just because these colors are lighter and they're not actually really brown in my opinion. Like maybe the, the two down there might have a little bit more of a harder time coming out but I'm hopeful that these front two shades will come out a little bit easier. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on all of these. Ooh, this one's already doing something crazy. It's turning like neon peach. I hope this one comes out evenly because I might actually use this one on myself if it does come out pretty easy. Ooh, yeah, this stuff's happening quick. You can see a change brewing. So as you can see, I have the Schwarzkopf color remover on here and all of them immediately are going like orange or peach. So you can see here, it's becoming like a neon peach. This one also, even the brown color is becoming like bright orange and so is the dark brown, it's coming bright orange. So here's what we're working with. I'm going to let this sit for like 30 minutes, process at room temperature without any heat, and we will see if any other changes occur. Personally, I don't think anything else is gonna happen. I feel like they're probably just going to remain orange, and I don't think it's gonna go back to a blonde color. I hope it does, that would be nice, so that way you guys could use them if you did like the color outcome, but I don't think it's gonna go back to a blonde color. I'm gonna make sure that they're saturated and they don't dry out throughout the, the process. I do just wanna say real quick, um, after I rinsed out the colors and I saw how different they were than what I was thinking in my brain, I went to their website to check their swatches that they have listed on their website to see if my colors came out to be the same shade as the ones they have listed on their website. My colors actually look quite a bit different. I'll include screenshots of what their colors look like versus mine. So here is what their copper color looks like and here's mine. Here's what their bronze looks like. Here's what their brown looks like. It almost has like a mauve undertone and mine doesn't have that mauve brown undertone to it. Mine looks more like a yellow undertone. And then here is their dark brown, which again, doesn't really look like mine. So the swatches on the website aren't accurate to the products that I got. Um, let me know if you guys have tried the Eero Eero brown shades before and let me know if they worked for you or if your colors looked the same as mine. So I'm gonna let these process and I'll be back to show you the finished result. All right, we are back. I just washed out the color remover. Um, while the color remover was processing, I did another strand of the dark brown just cause I was feeling like weird about it. I was like, maybe I applied it patchy or I didn't put enough product on there and I didn't want, I didn't want like an inconsistent test strand because of something I did. So I went ahead and I did another test strand of the dark brown and I have to say this one turned out a little bit better, but it is still very, very patchy. So let's switch over to the vlogging camera so I can show you the color remover results up close and I can also show you the additional swatch I did of the dark brown. Okay, so here are the swatches I did. This one is the copper, bronze, brown, dark brown. Here is the second dark brown swatch. I just wanna say this did have a shadow root about down to here, so ignore the top part. Just look at this bottom part. Um, you can see it is still very inconsistent and patchy. There's like a really dark strand here. There's a light strand here. There's a medium color over here. So it definitely isn't just the way I'm applying the um, color. It is coming out very patchy on every strand I do. I did really take time and work the color into the strand to make sure it was completely saturated and I did not miss any spots. And it looked amazing while it was processing. It's just once you rinse it out, 
It's so inconsistent, it's insane. So moving on to the color remover, here is the color remover. This is the only color um, I would ever possibly consider using if you want this type of hair color. This is like a dusty, rosy, mauve color. It's definitely not copper, but it is um, like a rosy color. It still didn't come out like totally. There's a little bit of an orangey spot here, but the end is like a nice coppery blonde. So this is the only one that semi came out. I don't even wanna say it came out completely because the ends are still pretty copper. It's not like back to the platinum blonde it was. So here is the bronze shade, which basically just went to a more vibrant pink. Like it's like a flamingo salmon pink. Here we have the brown. And as you can see, this did not come out at all. This is very reminiscent of Overtones Brown. It's like the same situation is going on here. Um, it does not come out even with bleach. Here's the dark brown. And as you can see, this one came out the least out of all of them. So here's what they look like with color remover, which is a bleach based color remover. So I just wanted to show you guys what happens if you do try and remove these. So here is the finished swatch results. I personally would not use any of these colors on my hair because they don't come out of the hair, number one. And number two, I just don't really like any of the shades. The only shade that I think is okay and it's pretty is the brown color. It still has quite a bit of warmth to it. It's more of like a copper brown, but it is really pretty. But the fact that it doesn't come out of the hair at all and it's just like super neon copper now, I definitely would not be putting this in my hair because I don't want it to stain my hair. I already made that mistake with overtone once and I don't want to do it again. I'm just going to hold up these swatches real quick so you can see them on a different camera. You guys can see how pink this is. This one is the bronze color and it looks like this. It really just looks like a dusty pink shade if I'm being honest. It, I don't really see any bronze in there. And then here is the copper shade. And you can see there's still a lot of that copper left in the ends. Didn't remove it completely, but it's the best out of all the other swatches we tried. Here is the dark brown. You can see this one just went extremely orange on the ends. And then I'm gonna show you this swatch too up close. So you guys can see the patchiness in there. It's a little bit more even, but it's still pretty inconsistent, especially on those ends. There's just some really dark spots that look almost black. And then there's spots in there that are like a light brown. So there are the Eero Eero natural brown colors. If you are looking for a natural semi-permanent brown color, definitely check out Manic Panic Supernatural line. A couple of their shades are also difficult to get out of the hair, but they didn't turn like this insane orange color. I would not recommend using Overtone or the Euro Euro colors just because they do stain the hair and they're pretty much impossible to get out. So if I do decide to dye my hair copper or brown, I will definitely use the Manic Panic shades. If you do like these natural colors and you want to use them and you don't mind if they stain your hair, I will leave a link to them down below in case you do want to try them. Them. I will also leave a link to the Manic Panic Supernatural shades down below because those ones are ideal and if you want to use brown color definitely use the Manic Panic ones over any other shades I've seen. I will also leave a link to the Schwarzkopf color remover in the description down below. I love that color remover. It works so well on vivid shades. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you if you were thinking about using the Eero Eero natural colors. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys, stay weird. Bye.